Hi, I'm Chris Gage from Marsdown Motorhomes, a franchise broker with Motorhome Depot. I'm here to tell you a little bit about this Hymer B544 coach built motorhome. It's left hand drive, 1995 and in very nice condition at it indeed. Let's have a closer look. Okay, let's have a look at the services along the side. Firstly, we have a gas locker. Uh, two propane gas bottles are included in the sale, so that's very worthy if you're just starting motorhoming that could save you about £130. As we move down the side, we have the inlet for the fresh water system, so there's an onboard tank which is insulated inside underneath one of the seats. And the wastewater that's collected through the kitchen sink and uh, the shower and the vanity sink is discharged from a valve just underneath this valance here. There is a, a step which drops out via a manual handle just inside the door. At the rear we have a very substantial motorcycle come cycle rack. Uh, it is a permanent fixture, a very substantial anchorage bar there. Uh, there is also a ladder which goes up onto the top and there are roof rails up there as well. One. Along the near side of this vehicle, at the rear corner, we have the Thetford toilet unit, so that's totally self-contained and separate from the onboard water system. And this is the flue for the Truma heating and hot water system. It's gas powered and thermostatically controlled. Mains inlet for 240 volt power is here, so you'll plug in an external cable onto that. I think there's two main sockets inside this vehicle, so that's useful. And then along towards the front, we have an external storage area. Uh, this kit isn't included in the sale, but it does give you good access under that front bed for your external stuff like your hookup cable water hose etc. This left hand drive Heimer is based upon the Fiat Ducato 2.5 litre turbo diesel engine. Uh, it's got a five speed gearbox with a dash change so that's nice and easy to get to and uh, you haven't got something on the floor that you've got to negotiate to get through into the back. Uh, it's a very comfortable place to be, a lovely nice clean cab and it starts first time. Okay, on the interior of this Hymer, uh, it's a really good layout because you've got all the services and facilities towards the rear, uh, leaving the lounging space for the front. So at the back here, we've got a useful two burner gas hob. Uh, there's also a three way fridge underneath, that's gas, mains, and 12 volt from the vehicle when it's running. Uh, kitchen sink here, there is of course a hot and cold water uh, system in the van and then in the corner there's actually a really useful washroom uh, which is fully lined plastic uh, and it is possible to have a shower in there. Uh, other services at this end of the vehicle will include the 12 volt main control panel for all the onboard systems, uh, there's a carbon monoxide and a fire alarm and a fire extinguisher all included. There's lots of storage in the back here and as you'll see in a moment when we look towards the front of the vehicle there's even more storage to add to that. For heating and hot water you have the Truma system in this Hymer. Uh, you've got the option of hot water only for the summertime and you control your room temperature on that step there and just switch the system on. Uh, it's electronic ignition, it just gets on and does it. You don't have to do anything else with it. Uh, there's lots and lots of storage in this vehicle. There's four overhead lockers on this side, and there's another four overhead lockers on the other side, all very deep, and you've got storage underneath the beds as well. As you can see, the interior of this Hymer is very roomy indeed. It's the classic 544 layout with a long bench settee on one side and then what we call a Pullman dinette uh, on the other side. So very very practical there's actually six seat belts in this vehicle uh, of which four of them are three point and two of them are two point. 
Uh, for bedding arrangement, you can make a double bed here and a single here, or you can make a huge double here. And that is supplemented by a very large overcab bed with excellent height clearance. Overall, it's a very comfortable place to be, and it's surprisingly roomy for a vehicle that's barely six metres or just over six metres long. So in summary, this Heimer makes an ideal first purchase, particularly if you're looking to go into Europe because it's left-hand drive. Uh, the body length is just under the 6.5 metre threshold. It's got nice external facilities of a motorcycle come cycle rack on the back, plus a roll-out side canopy. On the interior, it's roomy, got plenty of storage, and got all the, the essential facilities that you need. Overall, it's in clean condition for its age. Inevitably, there are some wear and tear marks, but it has been well cared for by the current owners. A recommendation is view as soon as possible.